98, 99, 100. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. I was busy working my palmaris longus muscle. What's that? You've been skipping palmaris longus day? Palmaris longus is a wrist flexor muscle, so it contributes to this movement. It's a small spindle-shaped muscle in the anterior compartment of the arm. It originates at the medial epicondyle of the humerus, and then it extends down the anterior forearm and ends in a slender tendon that passes over the flexor retinaculum. That's that fibrous band that makes up your carpal tunnel. So when the palmaris longus muscle is present, that tendon can be easily seen if you take the pads of the fourth finger and the thumb and press them together and then flex the wrist. You'll be able to see a tendon that's passing over that flexor retinaculum and you should be able to see it on both sides. So you can do the same test on the other side, flexing the wrist to expose that tendon. I said when it's present though, so it's completely absent or missing in up to about 14% of the human population. But don't worry, it doesn't affect your grip strength or the look of your forearm if you're missing it. Why is it that some people have lost it, that it's lost in some individuals? Well, our climbing ancestors relied on having a strong palmaris longus before thumbs evolved and a whole new way of gripping and climbing evolved. In modern times, in modern primates like humans, chimpanzees, and gorillas, it's no longer needed for a way of life. So it can be lost without any penalty. And we see this same pattern in our close cousins. There are some chimpanzees and some gorillas who have a palmaris longus, others simply don't. The only benefit to having a palmaris longus in modern times is that long tendon. If you need a tendon graft, if you suffer an injury to some other tendon, then that extra tendon can be taken from your vestigial, your extra palmaris longus. So you can test at home to find out if you have a palmaris longus just by thumb and fourth, fourth finger together and flexing at the wrist, looking for a tendon that travels superficially. If you don't have it, don't worry about it.